Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic encouragement comes from Abel Praise, Abuja, Nigeria. What is your mission accomplished? At the core of your being is a central navigation system. Whatever has been engraved in your mind through multi-zillion layers of thoughts and desires through wishes, they're built into the mind as the ideal picture of an accomplished life, and it becomes a central navigating system for your life. This central navigating system, when it's taken root and form in your mind, it becomes the propellant for your life. When the enemy came to tempt Jesus, he took him to a high mountain. He showed him all the kingdoms and the power and the glories of this world in a moment of time. He made a promise that it will be given to him if only he bowed. The first move of that trial in Luke 4 It was to fill the mind of the Lord Jesus Christ with visions and ideas, with dreams, thoughts enough to form a picture in the mind of Jesus, of what success and accomplishment would mean. The first thing in this move was to create a picture of a good life in the mind of Jesus, enough to make that the central navigating system of his mind. It's the picture of an ideal or accomplished life. Anyone who buys into the picture of the good life that the enemy creates through billions and zillions of layers of thoughts and ideas, through dreams and hopes and aspirations, enough to make it the hope of their future and picture of accomplishment, they will certainly take the other steps require, bowing down and worshiping. The Apostle Paul, speaking about how terribly disconnected and disoriented at war the carnal mind is from God, he wrote this in Romans 8, because the carnal mind is enmity against God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can it be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. There are times and seasons in a person's life where they will have their high mountain experience, both from the Lord, from the enemy. The Lord will come in times of visitation, presenting to you his preferred will for your life, outlining what lies ahead in the path with insights into what it will cost to take the path of righteousness. We saw this happen with the Lord Jesus Christ the moment he was baptized by John the Baptist in Matthew 3. So also the time would come when the enemy will exercise his right to make you an offer. Then you will be taken to the high mountain, shown in a moment of time all the glories, the power, the fame, the influence that will be given to you if you take the path that's laid out for you by the enemy. Preceding this significant time of trial will be years after years of an inward working in the mind where billions, even zillions of layers of thoughts would be flashing through your mind in a bid to create a picture of an ideal, an accomplished life. Let's make this simple. It could be your constant admiration for people's life of wealth and opulence, of fame and extravagance on social media. So much so that it becomes the dream and desire for your life to walk in their shoes. For ministers, it could be the constant admiration of fame and celebration and followership the popular ministers enjoy that maybe you lust after. So much so that your greatest dream is to attain that status in society. It's rather than the sincere desire to be in service to the Lord Jesus Christ and his kingdom in whatever capacity he entrusts you. Only our hearts and minds completely sold out in obedience to the Lord in total denial to self to see the will of God fulfilled, can we prevail against the lurings of this world? Jesus said unto him, My meat is to do the will of him who sent me, to finish his work. John 4.34 So I ask, what is your central navigating system in your mind? What is the picture of a mission accomplished in your life? Heavenly Father, my friend and I, we boldly enter the throne room, united in prayer today, Father. Our one desire, Lord, is to hear you at the end of the age say, Well done, good and faithful servant. Lord, I pray that that becomes our our north star for mission accomplished. Lord, that we wouldn't look to the natural to see what our other ministers doing, what our popular celebrities doing, what our people that we know or even those that we admire, even though they may be Christian, even though they may be, be excellent role models. Lord, I pray that we play to an audience of one, that our mission accomplished is what we hear from the Holy Spirit. Lord, that we would get so close to your heart that we would hear what you want us to do on a daily basis. Lord, that we would look at each day and say, Lord, what do you want us to do? And then the end of the day, we would say, Lord, we did it. We did it. We did what you asked for us for this day, Lord. 
Lord, that we wouldn't just think of mission accomplished as being far off, but we would look at it in a nearer term. Lord, what's my mission for this next meeting? What's my mission for this next recording? What's my mission for this conversation or for this specific project? I thank you, Father, that you love us, that you deal with us tenderly and care for us. And Lord Jesus, I thank you that we will have a testimony. Friend, you and I will have a testimony of mission accomplished. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.